Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and today I will try to show you how it's important to improve our calculation skills. Every trainer is speaking work on your calculation, improve your calculation and today I will show you that they are right because nearly everything is up to calculations. So first example of white move and what do you think how white will win this game? Maybe stop this video for a while and ask yourself what you will play if you are white and if you wish to win this position. And I will tell you that the first move is Rook to E1. It's an interesting move, of course, it's a check. And here only one black's move is to play Rook to B1. Yes, but at the end uh, White is winning by move Rook to C1. It's funny that after this move Black is lost because Black doesn't have any good moves to play. Okay, maybe Black will take this Rook, White will take and White know that the black has only one move to play h5. Okay, white will take, and of course, black has only one move uh, g4, only one move g3, and the last move is g2. And maybe funny that you are winning by this move. So that was a really beautiful example. I hope you enjoyed. Yes, maybe you're right if you will come back and say, okay, check rook to b1 and now black will not take but black will play h5 immediately that is no different because still i will take i will go i will go and i am winning here by the same motif so the first nice example is asking for another one i hope you agree and uh, let's go there so here black to move and what do you think black will play here in this position stop this video for a while do your best and find the best black's answer black to move and black is winning by this beautiful move of course he is winning much more than pawn of course if white will take he's losing immediately by this fork uh, to uh, to both the most important white species so at the end here is a check here's a check and um, white lost at least one pawn yes maybe it was a difficult solution difficult example let's watch another one um, black to move and a really beautiful position if you like chess beauty this example is for you so black to move what to play and black is winning by this beautiful move when black will take knight on b3. Stop this video for a while and ask yourself why after this move black is winning. Okay, I will take this knight immediately. White will take this knight. What next? And it's funny that uh, black will take on d4. He is a checkmate waiting for him. So for white, for example, I'm playing, I'm playing here. So it's check. And here's a checkmate. So very difficult to stop this threat. Maybe for this reason uh, white is going to c2, but the same checkmate check. And I hope you see that I'm right. That uh, this was the solution of this diagram checkmate. And well done to everybody who saw this example. Let's go for another one. And uh, yes, why to move? what white will play here and it's funny that only one winning white moves is uh, to go to c1 and for example here to c2 and at the end everything is uh, simple uh, because of move uh, h4 and now g4 okay black doesn't have another moves so we are playing 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 here black's got queen but it's not enough because black is checkmated and that was another a really interesting chess calculation diagram and these diagrams are really important for every chess player if you wish to be good and strong chess player you need to improve your calculation skills and uh, to solve every day few diagrams is the best way how to improve your chess so here is black to move and what do you think black will play here and I will show you that black is winning. Maybe 
take your time and maybe think by yourself. Maybe stop this video for a few five seconds, maybe 10 minutes, it's up to you, and ask yourself how black is winning here. And black is winning by move or up to d2. Okay, why? Uh, because, of course, if you would take like this, it's a check on f3. If you are going to g1, it's a checkmate. If you are taking, is another checkmate. So let's come back. Okay, uh, for example, if nothing happened, for example, I'm going to a2. I believe that here you are winning at least peace. So not big a different, of course. So it was another winning position for black. And uh, let's come back for another one. White to play and white is winning. I hope you will enjoy uh, this position as I hope you are enjoying this uh, video. So stop this video for a while. Ask yourself now and try to solve this position. Try to do your best and find the right answer. Well done to everybody who played knight to e5. Okay, now rook to f8. And now it's a winning uh, queen to g6. Of course, uh, take, 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 take is checkmate. So it was faster, maybe, to you. So, yes, uh, if you will not take here, is checkmate here immediately. Of course, uh, if you are playing here, uh, you are losing immedi immediately by check and checkmate here. Okay, just now. It's there. So, not many options to play for black than to take this knight. And now it's not many options for black to take um, this uh, rook. Maybe if you take by a queen, of course, it's the ch same checkmate to take on h7 and uh, check on h5. It's not check, it's checkmate. And that was another the right answer how to play this position and why it's important to improve our chess calculations. So let's go for another example. I hope you will enjoy this one as well. Uh, how do you think why they will win this position? And why is winning by this move knight to g6? Yes, of course, if you are taking by this rook, it's uh, imme immediately game over. If you are taking by this pawn, you are losing because you are losing uh, on d6 uh, piece. Of course, I will show, for example, here. Here is a checkmate. So here, here, and of course, mm, white is a winning. So makes sense that uh, black will take by this pawn. But uh, think that the game over is just to take here, to take here. Uh, is here check, is here check, and now I made a mistake because this is not game over. So my fault, let's come back and I have to remember what's going on here. Yes, of course, is a check here, so he will take by h pawn, and I believe now he's winning by this move. Yes, I'm right. Now, why is winning? So what's going on? If you are going here, is a check here. And here I'm right that uh, white is winning. So last move and black should resign. And what about what about uh, check? If you are going here, of course, is immediate, immediately checkmate on h8. Maybe here, maybe here you should go here, but. Uh, I don't believe that this is the right move because I will take here, you will take here, I will take here, you are going here, and this end game is a one end game for black. So yes, I did, and I founded you. I show you the right solution for white. And okay, another example: white move and white is winning. What do you think white will play here? One more time, stop this video for a few seconds because uh, this is the last example of this video. So, last chance to find the right solution. And uh, white is winning by this beautiful move, check on c7. 
Uh, why? Of course, if you are going here, it's a nearly checkmate or big losses uh, for black. So maybe what you will take is a check. And uh, if you are going here, is a check on C7 and nearly game over. If you are going here, of course, it's a check and you are losing everything. So, for example, check here. And because of this pin, um, should be immediately end of the game. So, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you saw. I believe that I'm winning by this move without big difficulties. So, yes, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This video was not too long, but I believe that it was important to show you how important it is to master your calculation skills, how it's good to improve this technique and you never know when you, you will play such a nice position and you will win your game because you are chess calculation master. Enjoy and I hope I'll see you soon. Bye bye.